Today we're going to be looking at how to convert pounds into kilograms. Now, as we can see here, we're being asked to convert 275 pounds into kilograms. Up top, we have our conversion and two and two tenths of a pound is equal to one kilogram. So when we're converting pounds into kilograms, we're gonna divide the value of our pounds by two and two tenths. So now let's set up this division problem. Our dividend or the number being divided is our value of pounds. So we have 275 pounds, which is being divided by our divisor or two and two tenths. Tenths. Now, whenever we're dividing a whole number by a decimal, we need to make sure that our divisor or the number that's doing the dividing is a whole number. So in order for us to convert this decimal into a whole number, we're going to multiply it by 10 because that's going to shift the decimal place one digit to the right. So since we did that to the divisor, we have to do the same thing to our dividend as well. So there is a decimal there, it's just not written, and we're going to move that decimal one digit to the right by multiplying it by 10, and then we're going to fill that empty slot with a zero. So now we're going to be dividing 2,750 by 22 to convert the pounds into kilograms. So let's set this problem up over here with a bit more space. So we have 2,750 being divided by 22. So now working through the division steps from left to right, we can't make a group of 22 out of two. So moving from left to right, we can make a group of 22 out of 27. So we're gonna write a one up top and then we're gonna multiply. One times 22 gives us 22 and then we're gonna subtract 22 from 27, which is gonna leave us with five. And then we're gonna bring down the digit that's immediately to the right and repeat this process. But now we're thinking how many groups of 22 can we make out of 55? Well, we know that we can make two whole groups of 22, and when we multiply two times 22, we get 44, and then we're gonna subtract 44 from 55, which is gonna leave us with 11. And then we're gonna drop down the next digit, giving us 110. Now we're thinking how many groups of 22 can we make out of 110? Well, we can make five equal groups of 22 out of 110. So when we multiply five times 22, we get 110, and then when we subtract, we're left with zero. So we're done with this division problem. So when we convert 275 pounds into kilograms, we get 125 kilograms. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert pounds into kilograms. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.